Transform sinusoidal function. Determine the equation of a sine function that would have range y belongs to real number where y is greater than or equal to minus 2 and less than or equal to 6 and a period of 720 degrees. Now with this information we can easily find a sine function and let us see how. So we'll try to write down the sine function in the form of y equals to a times sine k x minus t plus c, right? So we'll find each and every parameter from the given information. Now what is given to us? It is given to us that the time period is 720. So we'll say t, the time period equals to 720 degrees. Now from here we can find the value of k. k is equal to 360 degrees divided by 720, the time period, and that is half. So the value of k is half in our case. Now we are given maximum and minimum values. So that is maximum value is given to us as 6 and minimum is given to us as minus 2. From maximum and minimum we can find the axis and we can find amplitude. Axis is c amplitude is a. So let's find amplitude first. So amplitude is equal to difference between maximum and minimum divided by 2. Basically it is maximum minus minimum divided by 2. So that is 6 minus of minus 2 divided by 2. That gives us minus minus becomes plus. 6 plus 2 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. So amplitude is 4 for us axis which is C. Axis is average value of maximum and minimum so we'll add them and then divide by 2. So we get 6 plus minus 2 divided by 2 which is 6 minus 2 4 divided by 2 as 2. So that is the axis. Now phase shift is all up to us how we are going to sketch. So for the time being, we'll assume D to be 0. So there's no point complicating, right? So this is all we are given. Now from this information, we can write down our equation, right? So we started with the equation y equals to a sine k x minus t plus c. As you can see, value of a is 4, right? K is half, D is 0, and C is 2. So, so now we can write down our equation. So it is Y equals to A is 4, we get 4, sine, K is half, X, we are saying D is 0, so we'll just close it, right? And C is plus 2 for us, plus 2. So that is how we can get the equation from the given conditions. Now as an added exercise, I'll appreciate if you could sketch this function also, right? So that would be an exercise for you to do. I hope you understand how to write equation from the given conditions like this. We'll do few more practice, we'll practice with few more examples and I hope that will help you. Thank you.